Now for our second special equation and special solutions to that equation. The, there we go, the Legendre equation. Here is the Legendre equation of order n. And for us, we're only gonna consider integer n's. Uh, those are the only cases for which continuous and continuously differentiable solutions exist. So it's the Legendre equation of order n, where n is a non-negative integer, could be zero. Um, second order equation, homogeneous, like we've been solving before. Divide through by this one minus x squared, and you'll see that the um, that zero is an ordinary point, and that x equals plus or minus one are the uh, singular points. So that tells us we can find two linearly independent power series solutions to this equation, and the interval of convergence will be plus and minus one, plus minus one to plus one. Um, so we, we could use, we, we could go through the way we solved power for power series solutions before. We substitute in power series for all these y's, that's what you get. You manipulate the sums, and we would get these two particular solutions. So from what we've already covered, you could have done this if you had to. I'm not gonna go through that here. Notice a couple things. What if for this first particular solution, what if n is even? Say zero, let's go through them. Let's go through even n's starting with zero. If n is zero, I've got an n here, an n here, n for all those terms, they all go away. It's just C zero, constant. What if N equals two, the next even energy? If N minus two, that would be zero. Minus two here, that would be zero and on up. So it would become just these first two terms, the one and then this X squared term, a polynomial, in fact, a quadratic. You could go through for all of them and any even integer, this whole infinite sum becomes a polynomial of order n. Similarly, this second solution, particular solution, if n is odd, like here, if n is one, this becomes zero, that's zero, that's zero, all these guys are zero except that first term. So again, if n is odd, this infinite sum truncates the polynomial of order n. Either way, if n is even or odd, you're gonna get a particular solution that's just a polynomial. And those solutions are called the Legendre polynomials. Um, there's a way to come up with Usually we just pick C sub zero and C sub one to be uh, zero or one. If you're a little bit more clever in this case, um, it, it simplifies things a bit. Uh, in fact, these are the standard ways to pick the C sub zeros and the C sub ones uh, for the two cases where N is either even or odd. Um, and here are the first few Legendre polynomials. I'm not going to go through them, but see, see that they're all polynomials of order whatever n is. Here's what the first few look like. As I said, their interval of convergence is minus one to one. Um, zero term was just a constant. The n equals one term was just linear. Um, this guy here. And I'll go through it in the next chart, but each of these, each of these are either even or odd. The Legendre polynomials are either even or odd. Uh, odd functions. 
Um, before I get to that, let's see if you had to, what if someone said find P sub three? Well, three is an odd number. So first thing I do is find what C sub one is and I'd get, let's see, three, three minus one is two, two over two is one. So this would be minus one and I'm only going up to three. So it'd be one times three over two times um, just over two. Yeah. And then if you want to find the rest of it, you have to go back to this guy. We'll truncate here. Here. You'll only have these first two terms here. I'm not going to go through that. It's a little bit tedious, but if you had to find piece of three, that's how we, you would go about doing it. Find the C sub one term. And then here's what that particular solution looks like from back here. Plug in and, and you end up with this after you algebraically simple. That's a little bit tedious. That's what you would have to do if you had to do it the hard way. Uh, Somebody's already done it for the first few, and I don't think we're going to go much past the piece of five. Um, here are some properties. Uh, you change the sign of the argument. All you're doing is changing the sign of the original polynomial. Um, if it's, remember what even and odd means? If it's even, P, with an argument of minus x, it's the same as if the argument is of x. If it's odd, argument of minus x gives you minus the argument of x. And that's what this minus one does. So if you have, if n is even, you get an even function. If n is odd, you get an odd function. Argument is one, just get one. Uh, if the argument is zero, Answer is zero. Here's a somewhat useful feature. It's a recursive form. So if I had the two previous uh, Legendre polynomials, I could generate the next one in the sequence by using this recursive form. For example, if you had to find piece of five, but you already knew piece of three and piece of four, you could find it by this recursive formula. Again, it gets kind of tedious. I'd have some homework on that if I were your teacher, but it's nothing radically deep and mysterious. It's just tedious. And that ends um, our special functions, which will come up mostly later in the course. Special functions, the polynomials.